This time of day, everything's okay. I take a long look around. I have to say, this time of year, it becomes clear. Hello, and welcome to your friends and neighbors. I'm your host, Willie Jones, and uh, I have a very fun, interesting uh, show for you today. Um, I'm sure most of the people who are watching know the Bennington Museum. And for years now, the Bennington Museum has had what they call the Festival of Trees. Well, the Christmas elves have been a little busy up in the museum, <laughs> and they have decided this year, we need a little change. And I have two young ladies here with me today <laughs> to explain what that change is going to be all about. And to my immediate right is Jean, Jean Connor. I almost said Jan. Jean Connor. Good morning. Good morning. And Dina Mallory. Hi. Good, good morning, Dina. Good morning. Uh, yeah, these two ladies are going to be telling us all about the big news up at the museum. And uh, uh, I think the first thing we need to do is to find out why was there a decision that let's do away with the Festival of Trees? Who can take that one? <laughs> Who wants to take I'm going to give that to Jean. Why, why did you decide? <laughs> We need something new. Well, it was a hard decision. Let me yes, just start sure. by saying that. Because they've been beautiful. Yes, they have been beautiful. And we're very appreciative of all the trees right. and the tree creators over the years. It was the 20th year of the festival. Right. And we thought if we're going to make a change, this was really the logical time to do it. Makes sense. We also spent a good part of this year, um, the Board of Trustees and the staff, um, in many, many hours of meetings, working on a new mission and vision statement for the museum. And we felt like what we've ended up with um, is more aligned with the new mission and vision of the museum. Okay. And the museum has also struggled with trying to find ways to support the artists in our region. Right. We're very supportive of them. We have galleries and, mm -hmm. and, and other things. So this festival called the Festival Reimagined also um, speaks to that new kind of rejuvenated right, right. mission and vision of the museum. So right. that's why. Did, now, you're talking about are talking about all these changes. Hasn't didn't the museum get some kind of recognition of having the best museum makeover? Did I see that someplace? It or did. Was that just yeah. That was in <laughs> Yankee Magazine. Yeah. Okay. Um, over the it was their June May issue. Okay. I don't remember which issue, but yes, we did get that award. And, oh, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah very and we nice. also got one of the. Um, what was it, mo most compelling exhibitions in mm -hmm. 2014 oh, nice. in the Wall Street Journal. Oh, wow. So it was a big year for the oh, museum yeah, to yeah. get some you press. Know, I, I forgot to ask, in your position? I'm the, the director museum? of development. Director of development. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that sounds very important. <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> very important. All right, so the museum reimagined. All right, now I'm, I'm, I suspect there are still going to be Christmas trees around, though. There are a few. Uh, there'll be a few. Just okay. a few. Okay. But the ones that are going to be around, ones installed already, they're going to be spectacular. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any people who come in to, uh, uh, to especially to decorate these trees? Yes. Yes. Um, we are very grateful to Greg DeLuca, who owns Three Pairs Gallery in Dorset. Oh, okay. He has taken it upon himself to design and actually do the work to install the tree. It's the large one um, on the second floor. Okay. Um, it's, there's still something going on. I don't think it's quite done, but um, it is spectacular. Oh, wow. And then there's going to be an, at least one more in the lobby by designed and done by Joyce Hall and her daughter Hyacinth. Okay. And we have some volunteers that will be coming and in. And I think I'll there's going to be one in the schoolhouse, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe. Nice. 
Oh, nice, nice. And Dina, your position is? I'm the director of public programs. Right, and you told me earlier you've been at the museum for 10 years. 10 years. And Jean, you said two, two and, and a half. half. All right. Two and a half. So, uh, so what's going to be happening? I mean, this is all going to start November 27th, mm -hmm. and I know uh, for everyone out there, uh, this show will not be uh, on until uh, November 30th. So, uh, but most of the things that are going to be coming up are happening after that date anyway. So we're, we're okay. It's too bad we couldn't get it in before the 27th, but that's not going to work. So what's going to be happening starting November 27th? Who wants to take that first? You want to talk a little bit about the exhibition part of sure. it? Sure. Oh, okay. Sure. Because okay. that's the part that's changing the most. Oh, okay. You know, some of the events right. that are happening will be more familiar, um, but the, the exhibi exhibition piece of it is going to be different and okay. mm -hmm. exciting. All right. So when Dina refers to the exhibition, she means the trees. Right. So this year, it was a very long process, but it's going really well. We um, actually, there was a committee. The curator and area, a few area artists were on a committee, a selection committee, and they sent out about 34, 36 letters to regional artists who um, the curator, Jamie Franklin, had a relationship with and knew that they would be able to um, produce a piece of art in keeping with the memory tower. I don't know how well this will, yeah. will show up, but um, if anyone who visited the Grassroots Arts um, e exhibition that was on view over the summer and into the fall, um, one of the centerpieces of that exhibition was this four foot tall memory ware tower um, it's just really an amazing piece. Mm, this and, is a close-up of it. And so um, the artists that were invited were asked to create something in response to this memoryware tower okay. or reimagine the memoryware right. tower. And um, they're a, a really diverse yeah. range of artists, yeah. different... Um, different media. Yes, mm -hmm. different media, mm -hmm. different yeah. styles, certainly. And about 22 artists responded that they wanted to participate. So all their works of art are now in the museum. The exhibition's not finished being installed yet, but it's it's beginning. Mm -hmm. And the other, so that will be the exhibition. All the pieces of artwork that have been created um, in, in response to the memory tower, that will be the exhibition. And those pieces will be auctioned off in a closed bid auction. Ooh. So anyone can come into the museum and, and bid. It's a closed bid auction, which is a little bit different. I'd never done one. It's, you write your bid, um, it's in a sealed envelope, and you put it in into a you know, locked box, and then at the end, the highest bid for that particular item will be the winner. Oh, okay. And then I they have to. I haven't heard it right. done that way either. Oh. Right. And the, the artists have set minimum bids, and um, they we they're going to get fifty percent of whatever the item sells for, and the museum will get fifty percent of of what the item sells for. Now, are they are these all local artists or New England artists or from all over the we're, country? We're considering them regional. Most of them are, I would say, within a fifty mile radius. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. That, that, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think it's usual. it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, we were talking a little bit about it this morning, and you know, the idea of getting these artists together um, is one really important aspect of it. But you know, as someone who's not an artist, as a community member, I think it's kind of neat to be able to come in and see, in many cases, pieces that have been newly created. Mm -hmm. um, not in every case, but in in many of them. Um, specifically for this event, you know, so a lot of these things will be things that our community is, is the first mm -hmm. people to see. No, this, they'll start on the 27th? That yes. opens on the 27th. Okay. Now, um, we have a few of the items with us. Right, yes, I say you do, you did bring some of the items in. Um, uh, what is something which just went out of my Sorry. mind? That's all right, that's all right, I'll come back to it. Um, so, uh, um, Oh, Lordy, I wish I could remember what it you was. You said it's that, that it's be on the 27th. very important, but um, you know, maybe <laughs> it wasn't that important. No, it so. probably was. So it'll begin on November 27th mm -hmm. and continue through the end of December? The, or? That auction exhibition will close at the end of business on December 29th. 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 Okay. So okay. at that point, all bids need to be in, 
and the auction will be closed. Okay. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, when it opens on the 27th, will all of these artists or most of them be in attendance so people can meet the artists? We're having an opening reception for the artists, and the public is welcome to come okay. on December 1st. December 1st. Okay. From 6 to 8. Okay. And the artists will be there for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come high, and there's no charge. High water. They will be there. <laughs> yes. And there's okay. no charge for that. Any and no usual. snow. There will be no, no snow, snow until no. this whole thing is over. We, we usually always there. have snow the night of the gala, no, however. No, that's too bad. Well, actually, yeah. it's kind of nice, I yeah, guess, in a way that you've got... It's charming, you know. You know yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Vermont. It's Vermont. Yeah, yeah, Vermont, yeah. <laughs> we like the uh, challenge. Right, right. <laughs> um, so, but I know there's a lot of other things going on, Did, but before that, do you want to talk about some of the... Um, you said you had brought some the of the closed, um, but yeah. closed uh, auction. Yeah, like I said, there's 2022 um, items many of them were way too large to bring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so the collections manager, Callie Stewart, chose these two items um, for us to bring. And one okay. of them is Katie Cleaver's necklace. Right. It's absolutely beautiful. And folks, we will make sure that we get a better shot of this uh, and we will get it into, you know, into the show right. at some point. But it is beautiful. And you said it has a story. It does, and I meant to bring it with me, but I remember, I think I remember enough of the details to make it interesting. So Katie has been designing and creating jewelry for 40 years. And over the 40 years, she's collected, she called them bits and bobs. Um, one of them came from Jane Hanks. Oh. Um, one oh. of them is, is a gear of a watch of, from her mother, and they all... She's just collected these things over her career, and she's used them, many of them, in this piece. Speak of memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. To relate to the memory yeah. tower, and this is all bits and bobs. Yeah. So that's the story um, of Katie's. Oh, it wow. is now, stunning. Now, Katie, as you said, she's been here for quite a while. Very popular. Yeah. I, I mean, people will be lined yeah. up to get into her. And, and, and the nice thing about Katie is her, her stuff is affordable. Um, she and, and she's a, a wonderful crafts person. She yeah, really I, is. I have seen Katie's jewelry for years, and I have never seen anything like this. No, that's this beautiful. is truly I, no. It's amazing. really special, and you know, was created in response to that memory tower, right. and specifically for this event. Now, so you said some of the uh, some of the pieces are bigger. Uh, do you remember what some of those are that have to do with the memory? Memory where did you say? Memory, Memory where, where yeah. tower. Jarvis's piece. Is, yeah, uh, um, <laughs> it's amazing. Jarvis Rockwell, who is Norman Rockwell's son, okay, um, lives in North Adams. His daughter lives in North Bennington, actually. Created. How tall is it? Five, six oh, feet yeah. tall. It's maybe. It's got to be at least five feet. It's, it's a, a tower, a, sort of like a. a you know, pyramid yeah. Yeah, yeah. with okay. little steps, platforms and steps, mm -hmm. and it's covered in little superhero dolls and action figures. Action, yeah. Jarvis is a collector of uh, action okay. figures. He has thousands the little minions. of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kids are going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. They're going to love it. They're going to go crazy. And, and this is one of the things that people will be able to bid on. You can bid it? on it. Of course. <laughs> you need to have the right have space for, for it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to have, yeah, have a nice I room. actually can yeah. see that in a museum. Yeah. And oh, that yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can see it in Mass Mocha. Yeah. I was going to say, I think he had a piece somewhat like that in Mass Mocha a few years ago. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Well, you could always put an addition on your house. Yeah, true. Yeah. Open yeah. your own your little gallery. museum yeah. and stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think that that's really neat. Any other... Any other pieces um, that let's see. come to mind? Bill Bozzo. You on oh, Bill. Bill Bozzo did a, a wooden sculpture. Okay. It's kind of in a in the shape of a tower. It's lovely. I think it could be inside, maybe even outside. That one's I don't really know. cool. I like yeah, that one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. There's some pottery. There's this is. Um, yeah. Now uh, this is interesting. There's a picture of a a, a yeah. Woman. And, and, and we will try to get a shot of this it? later on to, mm -hmm. that we can yeah. stick into the you show. Want a closer look at it. But. Um, Laura Christensen is the artist. She lives in Williamstown, and she creates, I would call that a collage, uh -huh. possibly. And the name of it, it you up. can read the title of it behind there. Uh, I'll let you read it. Okay. <laughs> and then we leave it. <laughs> the title is Forgotten, Remembered, and Imagined. And Imagined, after Stephen Ware's Memory Ware Tower Bennington Museum 2015, Laura Christensen. Um, it's really beautiful, and she's actually used, if 
if the camera gets a close up at some point. Yeah, we will. Um, we'll make sure that we do. It's actually a photograph of the actual tower. Mm -hmm. She's used it kind of behind the and woman. Then, yeah, the, I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I think she's actually there's a few photographs that are part of this memoryware tower. I think she's used. Um, the, I, I just saw this piece for the first time minutes yeah. ago. Okay. Um, but I think she's used at least one of the photographs that is on the tower. Oh, okay. Um, there's a, a man whose face appears a couple of times. In okay, this. yeah, I can see and up there. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that that's on the tower, on the tower itself, oh, and the okay. woman's face maybe as well. I'm not positive. Tell me more um, about that tower. Tell me more about yeah, the memory. I can tower. tell you a little bit about yeah. that. Um, we know that it was made in 1894 um, oh. by Stephen Warren. Um, I can't remember what town. Hartwick. 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 Hardwick, so. Vermont, anyway, okay. um, and this was memory wear was a fad during the Victorian time. So you know, w when you see a, a photograph of somebody's living room in the Victorian era, it's a complete cluttered mess, right, and that was right. the aesthetic that people liked then. Well, then I think that, oh, <laughs> I my know, house fits fit right in very in well. Here, I thought <laughs> I, was, I thought it was a slob. Okay. So Victorian chic, um, <laughs> and. They were creating a lot of, um, ordinary people were creating these artworks. Um, you know, it was the time um, when people were making wreaths out of human hair um, and images out of insects and mm. things like that. Um, so one of the trends, uh, a little less gross, I guess, <laughs> um, <laughs> was uh, this idea of memoryware, where typically they would take a jug or a vase, some sort of smaller vessel, and um, all of their, their memorabilia and their little doodads and their tchotchkes and affix them to this jug or jar. The tower is a really exceptional piece of, of this form. Um, it's, it's four beautiful. feet tall. It's, um, it's in several layers. There's a staircase that spirals around it. And I've spent hours looking at it, um, literally, and every little bit of it is covered with something. And there are all kinds of patterns. There are um, recurring themes in it. And we really, we don't know what it what it's really all about. All right. um, but it's also one of the newer acquisitions at the museum and it's such a wonderful masterpiece um, that we couldn't resist the but chance to show it off. Is there a of the, the blue, is that supposed to be like an entrance or? This, uh, we don't know, you know, we really don't know exactly it's what his intention blue was. Really is like yeah, it really pops point. out mm -hmm. and that appears again um, on another side of, that color okay. appears again okay. on another side of of the tower. That's an amazing um, piece. Yeah, yeah. The, the creator, um, was a, an auto mechanic. Oh, we do know that. I didn't know that. We do know that. I oh, learned yeah. something new today. Yep. The top from where I'm staying, it looks like a Tiffany lamp or something. That's this is all, it's all bronze. Oh. It's bronze. It's wood, part of it's wood, but the staircase um, is bronze. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it, it's really um, an amazing piece. Well, you know, sure like I take said. that in when you're at the museum. And too. that will be on display also. Yeah. Okay. It'll still be on it so people okay. can see, yeah. you know. And what about really this beautiful, beautiful uh, quilt here? Okay, this has to do with the silent auction. So that. Oh, the, okay. Then the we'll wait. All okay. Right, let's take care of. No, let's. Okay. Yeah, we'll take care of this first. Yep. The uh, the closed bid. Yep. Okay. Yep. So what else do you have? Do you have anything I else to talk about with the closed? That's bid? That's the only two things we were allowed to bring. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> There's a lot more, yeah. but some of it is too big. Some of it's too fragile. Okay. So we brought the things that were easily transportable okay. You're not on the smaller ready. size. Okay. No, 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 we're not clearly not. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Well, then again, that. So is is this part of the uh, whole thing too, or is this yeah. later on? This is part of the this silent is, auction. This is silent auction, it's but this is going on the same time it's part as of the a festival. closed bid. Yes, yes. but this okay. ends the night of the gala. Oh, okay. This stuff will be available to for bid throughout the month of December, ending okay. on the 29th. So maybe before we and head to the closed. gala, um, I can talk a little bit about the classroom creations. Yes. Because that yes. Yes. will also be on display in the galleries. Starting on the 27th. Starting on the 27th, mm -hmm. um, and that will go on until um, December 18th. Okay. So that will be ending um, a little bit before the, the festival as a whole does. 
Um, but people might remember that in past years we've had the children's forest. Oh yeah, yeah. Where we give <laughs> classrooms an opportunity um, to participate in the fundraiser. Right. And because I think it's important to remember that festival is a, a big fundraiser mm -hmm. for right. the museum. Um, and we any classroom that wanted to participate in the past, we've given them a small tabletop tree and the theme of whatever the festival was that year. And they've decorated the trees, brought them back, and we've displayed those. Well, this year, um, we we upped the ante a little bit. We challenged you them. You reimagined. We reimagined <laughs> it. Um, we said, OK, um, we still want you to participate with your classroom. We want you to create something. And we will still give people a chance to win the creations of their choice. You buy a ticket for $1 at our admissions desk, and you just drop it into the little box okay. next to the, the creation you like. But we want you to think beyond the tree. And instead of giving you a theme, we're giving you this memory tower. And we ask the classrooms to do the same thing that we ask the artists to do, and that is respond in whatever way you want to this tower. And we invited the teachers to come in and, and look at the tower right. and kind of spark their creativity. Um, and you know, made some suggestions. They could build a tower. They could build something completely different. Um, I know one teacher is working on a mobile with her class. Oh, okay. um, they could explore the idea of memory or imagination, whatever they wanted. And they're actually due on Friday. So wow. um, well, I'm pretty excited that I was able to bring two with me today. Right, These were right. both waiting for me um, at work this morning. And so the one closest to you, Willie, is um, <laughs> color, uh, color My Imagination, or Color Our Imagination. Okay. Okay. Um, and it is from uh, Ms. Crossley's second grade class at okay. Molly Stark okay. Elementary. And you can see it's a tower that um, actually in, in form really does recall the, the memory tower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, um, yeah. It looks oh, yeah. a lot like it. Um, and they've used crayons. Yeah, and well, as Willie I mean, was that's noting. That's a memory for me. I mean, oh, yeah. and the smell getting of crayons. I was say the <laughs> smell of crayons. <laughs> Christmas, I got a box of 48. Oh, oh man. That oh, did you have the one with the, pen, with the sharpener yeah, the in the little back? Sharpener. Oh. oh, yeah. No, that, no, that brings all. And I still color. I love to color. I don't use crayons as much. I like to use markers and stuff. But uh -huh. I'm still a colorer. I, and, and the art teacher it used to be at Powell, Mary Natalizia, she said, and I bet you stayed within the lines. I think, yes, <laughs> I stayed within the you lines. You know, there's a whole craze out there of adult good coloring adult books. Oh, I know. Yeah. OK, good. Oh, just no, making sure I you know. Oh, I got a bunch. Oh, I got okay. oh, I <laughs> Just them. making sure. It, oh, it's wonderful for I think to so. just take away a, a, Very a therapeutic yeah. and anything like that, because you have to concentrate on what you're doing. But mm -hmm. I know I think that's wonderful. Yeah. I love it. It's It made us smile. Oh, I mean, yeah. I saw it, and I just, yeah. how can you not smile yeah. looking at that? <laughs> it certainly smells like wax, though, mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. And it's Crayola. It's not any old. That's right. No, it's the real deal. <laughs> crappy, crappy. These are good. These are good Crayolas. <laughs> and then next to you, you've got the snowman, which well, is really cute, that's too. right. This one comes from Woodford School. Um, oh, okay. And this is from their fifth and sixth graders. You know, they only have about 25 kids yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I love that <laughs> so, school. So um, th these are from their fifth and sixth graders. And um, it is a, uh, a snowman tower made right. out of wooden blocks. Right. And um, he's a happy little guy. They've used buttons along the front of it. You'll see when mm -hmm. you um, see the memory tower, there are a lot of buttons um, as part of what covers it. Yeah, well, yeah, buttons are, are part of a memory, too, of something That's you've oh, yeah. Worn or, oh, yeah. And, yeah. And people used to collect buttons. Oh, yeah. You know? mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And then what they've done is um, they, they were given a, a prompt, my memory of building a snowman. And each of the, the students wrote down a memory mm -hmm. of uh, building a snowman. Um, this is that. Uh, I didn't build a snowman. I built a snow cat when I was eight. Oh, <laughs> so, um, or what was the other one I saw? Uh, when my family and I were building a snowman, and my dog Tegan pushed a snowball. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the dog helped them build the snowman. Right, so right. I have um, very little idea of what else we'll be getting. Um, but every year, I am just astounded by the diversity and the creativity of what the teachers and their right. students come up with. I have approximately, I'm expecting approximately 26 creations. Okay. And you said that it, you didn't particularly, uh, 
asked for the art teacher to be involved. No. It's um, a class, and what was the reasoning for that? Well, we invite all of the, the classrooms to participate. Uh -huh. So, um, art teacher. The art teachers are often involved. For example, I know that um, Ms. Umflit at Woodford um, helped okay. with this. Um, and I know that um, Ms. Nesbeth at, she's at Monument in Ben El, um, she's going to be helping okay. um, at least one of the teachers. Okay. So the art teachers can oh, still yeah. get involved. They, they, they consult. Not yeah. hands and off. actually, I have okay. um, a couple that are coming from uh, not classroom teachers. Um, I have one that's coming from a music teacher who's oh. going to be working with some of her music students. Oh, there's memory. And then I have, yeah, and then I have um, someone uh, who runs, um, works with an after school program oh. at Molly Stark, who's going to be oh. doing some with, with her oh. after school group as I'm well. I'm interested in that music one, because, mm. oh, I know. Man, does I can't music bring <laughs> animals, whoa. And wow. then these, as I said, they're on display um, until the 18th. The, I'm going to be drawing winners of each one on the 17th, and on I'll 17th. start calling them then. Oh, okay. Um, but the great thing is that, that all of the classrooms that participate can come visit the museum. Right. And they come and visit during the, the festival. Right. And, you know, they get to see their piece mm -hmm. on view. And they get to um, hear me shake that box and hear that there's raffle tickets oh, right, in right, there right, that, right, right. that people have get them excited. paid mm -hmm. for, for their, you know, a chance right. to win their creation and that they've helped participate in the fundraising efforts. I know at, at Pownal um, a few times uh, there were pieces of art that the kids did and I asked them if I could buy them and yeah. you know a yeah. lot of the kids would say no. No it's for but my mom. One, or, one, yeah. I, I did get one little piece of sculpture that one of the uh, third graders had done that I just loved of like the Vermont mountains and stuff and he <laughs> said yeah, yeah, you can have it. <laughs> I said, well, oh, I want to pay you for it. Mm -hmm. So, oh, he was so excited. Oh, yeah. I think I gave him ten bucks. Or I bought a piece of pottery from, from the what, the heights from the student art show a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah. I contacted yeah. the teacher, who then put me in touch with the student, and it's in my dining room. Yeah. And I oh, use he, it all the time. Yeah, oh, he was so excited. Yeah. so excited. I think that's wonderful. So twenty, you think you're going to have twenty six all together? Have about twenty six. Okay, mm -hmm. that'd be great. And they'll be on display um, in the the center gallery. That's okay. the the same hallway where the, uh, or the same gallery where the, the very tall Christmas tree okay, is. Okay, okay. And now can we talk about those other items over there? Yeah. If you'd like to. Can we to. talk about those? Okay. I like that. And the gala. Popcorn. I like, like that. that. Yeah, we'll get the gala and we'll, we'll save that for last because that's the big thing. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that box, that popcorn box uh, yeah. mm. with all the candy in it. We've got some great things. So, so what's that? So what's that from? it's kind of going to be hard for me to talk about these items without talking about the gala. Oh, oh, okay. Because they're fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, go, go you're ahead. the host. No, no, oh, okay. yeah, no. You know what's going on here. You know, I'm just here to all right <laughs> keep keep the flow. Okay. So the silent auction is opening Monday, opening November thirtieth. No, twenty no. third. <laughs> Is the 20, 20, 23rd, it's a Monday. The Monday before Thanksgiving. Monday is the 23rd, yes. right. Ooh. So that will be installed and people can come in and see the items and bid on the items without paying to get into the museum. Okay. So that will be set up and ready to accept bids. It closes on at the at 9.30 during the gala, which is December 5th. During the gala. So okay. this is a much shorter period of time, and it's it's a smattering of, of different kinds of items. Okay. Everything and, and all of these have been donated all donated, to the museum. All donated by, by area businesses, businesses and individuals. And, yeah. So I've brought a few things just to kind of give everyone a taste of what will be included. This is a beautiful quilt by Mary Kohler who lives in North Bennington. She's extremely well-known and extremely accomplished quilter. Um, so this is her piece. It's modeled, it's um, designed using a Native American design. Um, I think it's a basket design. Oh, okay. um, so that's Mary Kohler's. Um, this bottle of wine oh, represents... <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> what's it called? I've already forgotten. Cont a continental experience. It's been donated, I'm not gonna say his name because I'm not sure he wants to be known, okay. but a local person um, who is a collector and he's donating six bottles of wine 
from each from a different continent. Oh, Ooh. that one is from South Africa. Oh, okay. We have one more to go. We don't have the one from Asia yet. Oh, okay. So is there no wine from Antarctica? Is that the, oh, the missing continent? Probably oh. not. <laughs> yeah. They should make some ice wine or something. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that water, you know? Yeah. yeah. So well, and going back to the quilt, there, it, it is another like another eight or about eight yeah. nine inches longer too. Yeah, it's yeah. folded and here it's, a little it's bit. It's reaching so down it's to the floor. And as she well. actually yeah. sewed a sleeve onto the back of it, so it can be hung as a display. And oh, Mary, and on the back, and Mary oh, always a tent, a teepee. Or oh, teepee, sorry. Yeah, she always signs her quilts in this amazing way with another applique quilted something. So this oh, one's called cool. Coming Together. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's I Mary. Don't know if anybody can see that teepee, but it's right there. <laughs> yeah. we'll, give, we'll give it a shot just in case. We, you never know; it might show up. Yeah, she's great. It's beautiful. It's she's beautiful. Just we'll just amazing. have to come we'll see it in person. We'll yeah. straighten it out. We don't want to. Um, okay, the wine I spoke about. The bucket of yeah. it's not not full of popcorn. That was donated by Hathaways. Oh, Hathaways. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, and who's it? Yep. Who's it calls? And okay. who's it calls? It's the um the drive-in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and thank it, God there's at least one drive I know, in the world, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's a car load and a movie pass for six people, popcorn and candy. Wow. So Very nice. Very nice. Really, really nice night out. And then the oh. other thing I brought is sitting on the chair next to Dina. Maybe I That's can. a beautiful painting by Pat White, who's a Bennington resident. Very familiar. Called BBC Windows. And anyone who knows Bennington will recognize right. the side of that building and the window boxes that are blooming right. all summer long. It's beautiful. So that's that's an oil painting, the original. So those yeah. are whoops. Whoops. There so those are four four kind of different items, and there are many many more. There are ski passes and gift certificates for dinner. There's more jewelry. There's Tanglewood seats. There's a private tour of the museum with the curator and the and the Ooh. executive director and lunch. Um, Got Cinema Seven in there. E no. no. Oh, somebody should have gotten gotten that. We have images donated, oh, okay. and that's oh. that's part of a package. Oh, okay. Um, we have a Teflon treatment from J and J. You know, it, it goes on and on. I could take right, up the right. rest of the show. Um, so that's that's the silent auction. The the um, store owners or, or whatever you want to call them, people that have businesses here in town and other areas, they always are very generous. Oh. I'm astounded. Very generous. And, you know, you'd think after a while, they mm -hmm. say, no, you know, we just, you know, we've, <laughs> Stop we've asking already us. done five, <laughs> stop yeah. asking. But, you know, I, I never had a problem when no. we were in school asking people to help us out. Or you are absolutely right. You are, and, and actually, if they aren't asked, yeah. sometimes they're upset. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame Because they call yeah. us and sure. say, when are you yeah. going oh, to, aren't uh -huh. you coming okay. to get your whatever? <laughs> right, right. And, you know, well, we were going to try to give you a year off, you know. Yeah. We were oh, feeling right, badly right. that we yeah. kept asking <laughs> you, and they want to be asked. Yeah, and I think that is a wise thing, though, not to, uh, you know, take a break once in a while. Or and, you at know, least and offer a break. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. No, I think, no, it is. Fine. It is amazing. I have a fabulous committee who really has done everything for the auction. Um, I've got some work to do, but as far as getting all the gifts and, and doing all the asking. I have a wonderful committee. How many um, volunteers are involved in this? Oh, gosh. Wow, in the festival? Yeah, all together for sure. everything that's going to be going not on. Counting it's hard us. to say. I mean, a lot of, I mean, the whole, not counting us, the committee, but that doesn't include, that list that you're counting from doesn't include all of the volunteers who no. help um, during mm -hmm. the gala and during the family day mm -hmm. and decorating and There's plenty <laughs> yeah it's probably Many. all said and done i wouldn't be surprised if it's approaching 50. yeah oh, wow. this is 17 official committee members we use right. the interact club kids oh yeah yeah from the high school um, they, they yeah they like to get involved yeah and we um it, i wouldn't be surprised if it's 50 people mm. we have people come help decorate we have family day um are just our normal volunteers for events mm -hmm. right. to help with registration and it's a big 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 job right. to do this whole festival and we need we do need help now what about the big gala itself the gala yeah tell us about the so gala so the gala is december and what 5th. are you going to be wearing oh <laughs> i haven't even thought about it yet <laughs> I'll probably decide that morning what i'm going to wear a corset of some sort yeah <laughs> 
definitely comfortable shoes until okay. I have to change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I run around in my sneakers until yeah. I can't anymore. Um, so it's December 5th. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're another little change. We're adding a cocktail hour from 6 to 7, okay. which people are welcome to come to and stay. Uh, it, you have to come to the whole event. I think there was a little bit of confusion that you could people thought you could just come to the cocktail hour, and oh, okay. that's not the case. The cocktail hour, the Is reason we separated it out was there will be live music, but the band will be a three-piece band during the cocktail hour, and there will be like cheese and crackers out. Okay. Then at seven, all the food will come out, the full band will begin playing, so. And the real, get, real hoopla begins. The real, yeah, the craziness <laughs> begins. Can, can I ask where all this food comes from? Um, or is that you can ask however the caterer um, asked to not be okay. identified okay um, it's it's but it'll be guaranteed to be a feast yes. yes yes and you will feel fed okay. um, we I, I've been very careful to make sure that there is ample food for people to feel like they have had dinner now are there two separate bands you said there is a three piece for the six there's to a seven I think there's a five or six piece band at seven, it's going to be three of those. It's the same people. Oh, They're just a couple more. Okay. A couple more. And, and, and who's the band? The, the band, yeah, they, we we can say that it's Good. the Jeff McRae band. We've had them for several years. Oh, okay. Jeff McRae is yeah. the she really likes Oh, the they're, Jeff they're McRae fantastic. Band. Oh, they're fantastic. They are unbelievable. And uh, and so versatile. I mean. I mean, I know there's other bands out there, and I'm sure they're fabulous, but everybody says, can you please get them back? All you different kinds get of them music. Back? Yeah, yeah and he, puts together, yeah. he puts together what you want. Okay. Um, he really, they really are best at jazz. Um, they don't do a lot of pop, but I think this, this event, he talked me into it. I really kind of wanted a little more pop, and, and Jeff assured me that this event, it really screams jazz, maybe some piano music, piano bar music, right, that right. kind of music. Uh -huh. I said, okay, I hear you. He knows what he's doing. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, right. so um, yes, it's Jeff McRae. We're having free babysitting now, I for the I gala. Saw that. <laughs> I thought, no, but it said limited. So well, how many people, how many children we are you able to take We had 11 or 12 kids last year. And, and that, again, is the Interact kids that do that. And a lot of them, I'm sure, are certified. They're right on site. They're in the Grandma Moses Schoolhouse. Oh, How fun is oh, that? that's perfect, yeah. Yep. Um, I had four babysitters last year for 12 kids. Okay. Now, what do they do with them to keep them occupied? Dina. Well, Dina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is her. I roll down my little cart. And <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, they're in the schoolhouse, yeah. first of all, which is the hands-on right. section of the museum. So there's yeah. lots of things they can play with there. Right. And I think last year I, I did roll down a cart and mm -hmm. gave them some little craft activities okay. to do and stories to read and and snacks and snacks, and snacks. of and course snacks. very yeah. important yeah. very important and At they least had the a candy great time cane, something yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah no I thought that was th that's a very nice thing mm -hmm. to do is to have the childcare I think it that's is great. it's so expensive for young families to hire yeah. a babysitter and the other thing I have to mention I have to mention two things. Um, Lynn Frost of Tuscan Sunflower uh -huh. has donated the centerpieces on oh. the high top tables oh, nice. for the third year She'll in do a row. A good job. Oh, she's amazing. So big thank you to her. And Jenica, oh gosh, Jenica, I forget your last name. She owns Fancy Pants Cakes. She's creating a cake also inspired by the oh, tower. Wow. It's not gonna look like the tower. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say what it it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> but it's big. And she's donating the cake, and she'll be there, and we'll actually get to eat the cake. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. that's, well, that's important. That is very important. I asked yeah, her, did you want to eat it off the cake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she said, no, I want people to eat the cake. I said, okay, <laughs> then you have to come cut the cake. I, I've never heard of Fancy Pants Cake. Fancy Pants Cake. She has a website. Incredible. Oh, in the area? Yes, this woman's incredible. She, oh, okay. She's in Bennington? I've never, I, uh, I think Fancy she's in Bennington. Huh. Fancy Pants Cakes. Okay. Hmm. Amazing. Wow. So anyway, the ticket prices for the gala, the $75 early bird price, unfortunately, is passed. Okay. Sorry about that. So it's $90 per person, or if someone is feeling particularly generous, um, for $175 per person, you could become a gala benefactor. Okay, which yes. means? Which means you're just a really, really generous person. <laughs> <and> we <laughs> love you dearly. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll be printing a program Okay. Um, with all the auction items listed right. and lots of other good information, ads from all our sponsors. We have 
many, many sponsors um, of the event. Um, so that's. Did I when did anything? you start working on all this? Oh, January. Yeah, <laughs> pretty so much. Just, yeah. Really, um, by the end of the the gala every year, we're sort of jotting down notes for next year. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we yeah. start officially. I, I think we probably started officially meeting as a committee in February or March. I would say March, okay. maybe. Well, you need yeah. a little break. I mean, you need a little break. But yeah. also time to think about what we can do. Yeah. It was really... How we can reimagine. Yeah. yeah, and that took some time. It took a long time, yeah. We had to kind of just... I don't know. We just really thought massage through the a lot idea. of things. Yeah. Who came up with the term, the museum reimagined? Or the festival reimagined? I don't even know. Or the festival. It was my daughter, actually. Your daughter. Your daughter. <laughs> We okay. thought of the festival something, and we yeah. couldn't think of a name. And she was home. I don't remember when. Must have been spring break, maybe last year. And we were. I I threw it out there. I remember she was standing in the kitchen, and she said, "The festival reimagined. Like, what is wrong Duh. with you?" <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, so we done. had a couple other terms, but everybody settled on the festival right. reimagined. Oh, that's great. And. Yeah. And, and the gala itself, the dates again and the time? December 5th. 5th. Which is um, a Saturday. 6 to 7 S 6 cocktails. to 7 is cocktails, 7 to 10 is the gala. Okay. okay. Or think of it as 6 to 10. Okay. Now, I get, have we gotten everything in about... One more thing. Okay. Because of the weather, it, oh. we are, we're going to have a shuttle this year running people back and forth from Monument School parking lot because we don't have enough parking. Okay back and forth, back and forth, because people have had to walk across the street. We do have a sheriff to slow everybody uh -huh. down, but it still is a little, yeah, ooh, especially yeah. if you're in your heels. Yeah, 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 it's a little. Sequin yeah. dress. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, Southern Vermont College is donating a van and a driver for the oh, evening. So great. if you have to park across the street, don't worry. This year, you'll be able to be transported oh, safely nice. back and forth. Very, very nice. Yes. I think I've covered everything ad okay. nauseum. So, uh, <laughs> cash bar, cash bar. For, oh, and the cash, cash bar. bar. Okay, okay, yes. that's important. Yes. Uh, so, what else is coming up next year? Any other? Well, before things we that you get off, oh, okay. before family we get off day. the subject okay. of the festival, we do have to talk about Family Day, which is the other oh, big right. event, um, and that takes place the following Saturday, so the week after the gala, okay. Saturday, December twelfth. Okay. And um, as in the past, uh, we drastically reduce admission that day. Um, so our regular adult admission is $10. That day, everyone pays $3 a piece. But we include children in that, okay. uh, which normally we don't charge children for. But there's a way out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> As always, um, we have chosen, the committee chose a um, recipient of donations. Um, in the past, we've collected food for the uh, kitchen cupboard. Right. We've collected items for um, Coalition for the Homeless, PAVE, I think was last year. This year, we reached out to the public schools and asked the principals at the public schools in our community, if we were to collect something for your students, what would it be? And resoundingly, the, the top request from all of the schools that I approached was new winter clothing items, mittens, warm socks, hats, um, scarves, yeah. ha hats. As you know, we live in a community um, that has a lot of needs and right. something around 80% of our students in our public schools are living at or below the poverty line. That's and right. unfortunately. And warm the children can do just so much. Mm -hmm. sure. Right. And um, so we're asking uh, children under 18 to bring in a, a new warm clothing item and will waive their three dollar admission. Oh, that's they great. can also bring in uh, school supplies. So things like pencils, mm -hmm. um, calculators, notebooks, crayons, um, kids scissors, and we're, we're tar focusing on the elementary schools. Right. Um, so you know if, if folks can kind of think about something they can bring um, to, to donate, mm -hmm. And they can come any time during the festival to, to make a donation. Right. Um, but especially that family day, we ask the children right. to bring something in right. and then we'll waive their admission. Right. You said grade school. Of course, the high school, they all go around the shorts and t-shirt <laughs> all winter. <laughs> anyway. They, Whether know. they're cold or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're invincible. About? 
So Family Day um, runs, it's, it's all day, 10 to 5, so that admission rate applies for the entire day. And then we have some special things going on. We have um, the Children's Shopping Boutique, which we've done for several years now, um, where children, um, I think we say ages 4 to 12, mm -hmm. I might be a little off on that, um, can come to the Children's Shopping Boutique with their list of who they need to buy for. Right. We ask the parents to stay out of it. That's right. <laughs> and we have um, some helpers who will bring the children around and help them shop for items. All items are priced from one to ten dollars. They are all donated items. Okay. Again, um, and then we wrap the gift, put the gift tag uh, on it say, for you them. Oh, mm -hmm. wrapping is and important. And then the children leave with their little bag of, of gifts that Perfect. they've bought for uh, for their family members, and I can say that as oh, sorry, as a recipient, yeah, I that too. <laughs> uh, as a recipient of a gift from uh, my five-year-old, well, okay. four-year-old last year, um, it's really sweet. They're oh, yeah. they're just so a excited. At Pottle School, I know for years we used to, I think we called it the Elf Shelf or yeah. whatever, and the kids would come and mm -hmm. shop, and they loved it. Mm -hmm. They yeah. just loved it, mm -hmm. and I can remember. Uh, when I would go out, I, I think the first thing I bought for my mother as a child, it was like a Cinderella coach, and in the coach <laughs> was that awful evening of Paris perfume. Oh, oh. <laughs> I remember. Nice. But I mean, at that time, I thought there's. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why my father let me buy this thing, but you my mother to buy went for crazy it. for it yeah, because Just you picked it out. It. That's why. Right, right, but evening of theirs. Do they still have? Evening I don't know, but I remember that. <laughs> I remember. The, I remember the perfume. That was awful stuff. That was so oh, like kerosene. Whoa. The children's shopping Man. boutique um, runs from ten thirty till three thirty. Okay. Or while supplies last, we okay. tend to get pretty scarce by the end yeah, of it. I'm sure. And we are still um, seeking donations oh, okay. for the sale, especially items for men. Um, and oh. But we, we ask people not to donate clothing or books because they don't sell, they don't get bought. Oh, okay. But um, items for men, you know, I was trying to think of some like wallets, um, sports stuff. Key rings. Key rings, sure. Um, iPhone cases, right. you know. Uh, Things like that. Um, men are hard. Men to are buy hard for. to buy yeah. for. Yeah. <laughs> a picture frame. A picture frame, sure. Oh, yeah. Coffee mm -hmm. mugs. Um, oh, mugs. Yeah. You know, a travel that. mug. My son bought yeah. my husband um, <laughs> wine glasses last year. Oh. He knows us well. <laughs> 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 um, but anyway, uh, so we are still looking for donations. Okay. If, if anyone has anything they would like to donate, we'll, okay. we'll accept that at the museum. Um, so that's the shopping boutique. There's I'm also assuming you're looking for new stuff. New or gently or loved. Gently, okay. <laughs> yeah, new or I like gently that. used. Gently used, gently loved. Yeah. I like that. Um, <laughs> there will be at the same time um, as the children's shopping, uh, 1030 to 330, there's going to be a bake sale. So the children's shopping happens in the Ada Presky Education Center, and we close off those doors so the okay. grown-ups can't come in okay. and see what their children are buying for them. But the Grown-ups can then be waiting in the um, Paul Presky court, and there's a bake sale there, so oh. they can, you know, buy oh, some okay. cookies or brownies or yeah. whatever while they're yeah. waiting. And uh, coffee, that's coffee. All, that, uh, that's all volunteer. The mm -hmm. the baking. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, volunteer bakers and can't that's bring being Oreos or uh, heck no, <laughs> no, we want the good stuff. <laughs> um, we will also be having from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Um, some craft activities for the kids. Oh, good. And I believe we're going to have three activities. One will be no charge, one costs a dollar to do, and one costs two dollars to do. And that's okay. just to, to cover our expenses. And, and who does the crafts with kids? Um, we have some of the Interact students help with that, and probably a couple of uh, museum educators, okay. too. Lucky to have those Interact kids. Oh, my we gosh. Are. Oof, absolutely. They also help with the children's shopping. Uh, they're fantastic shoppers helpers. Oh, I'm sure they are. We have uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus will be with us from 1 until 3 o'clock okay. this year. And children can come in and visit with Santa. Uh, there's no charge to visit with Santa. Uh, parents are welcome to bring their cameras and mm -hmm. take a picture of their right. child with Santa. There's no charge for, for any of that. If they would like us to take the picture, uh, we have an instant camera. Um, which the kids find really fascinating, by the yeah, way. I'm like sure. a Polaroid? Oh. It's, it's not a Polaroid. 
because uh, you can't get Polaroid film yeah. anymore. Uh, it's a Fuji Instax, I think is what it's called. Okay. But it works the same way as a Polaroid. I didn't know that. And, I learned something uh, new today, too. The kids are fascinated oh. by that technology. Oh, yeah. So we'll take a picture. We'll put it in a little gift card. Uh, you know, it's not mall quality, I would say, but it'll only cost you four bucks. Okay. So <laughs> okay. well, if good. you'd like that, we will do that for you yeah. as well. Oh, and we have okay. some sweet elves that help out with that. Oh, okay. I bet. I you got it all planned out, ladies. Oh, boy. Hey, it's a great it's time. And you'll be exhausted at the end, but happy. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We're actually exhausted now. I'm yeah. sure you are. I'm sure you are. It hasn't even begun. <laughs> actually, once it's here, it's it's the yeah, leading it's up done. to it that's yeah. harder. It's the once planning. It's, yeah. The planning and the preparation oh, and the organization Then is once the it's done, part. we just get to enjoy it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, now, how how much does the other staff members get involved in this whole thing? Oh gosh, I mean, it is definitely a group effort. And, uh, and Susan Strano, all the different people are there. There, I don't think is anyone that's not affected by this everybody festival. Everybody's involved. No. Yeah, okay. I mean, our, our building supervisor is uh, today, I think, or yesterday, up on the the cherry picker, you know, helping with the decorations uh, and yeah. you know the the shop. Oh, we should mention the. Oh, yeah. oh pop up shop. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, our shop staff is now working um, to, uh, if anyone's visited recently, you know, we have the, the new Works on Paper Gallery. Well, the Works on Paper Gallery is adjacent to the gift shop. And uh, when does the. Uh, I'm not sure when it opens, oh. but I think she said Wait. she was going to be ready to go. November 21st. November 21st. Um, it's already open. Cake Gallery. Oh, no, 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 yeah, not quite. quite. Cake, well, it will be by the time your viewers see this. Mm -hmm. um, Cake Gallery is doing a pop-up shop in the Works on Paper Gallery. Okay. Um, so our shop staff is working with, um, with what's Mike? Micah, Micah, Micah Williams. Um, right now to stock and display the, the pop-up shop. Um, so yeah, everyone is involved right from the planning right. to soup to nuts. <laughs> The curator, Jamie and Callie, are oh, yeah. in charge of the installation of, of, of all these auction okay. items, the, the closed bid auction and, and you know, the exhibition. So, you know, they've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Susan does an amazing job with marketing yeah. everything that we do. Uh -huh. yeah. um, even and even she, the bookkeeper who answers the phone, you know, the yeah. phone's ringing more often. Oh, There's sure. a lot more sure. bills to pay, and it, it, it literally affects everyone. Yeah. Now, if Susan was here, when she used to come, when I used to do the radio show at uh, WBTN, I always talked to her about her earrings. So if she was sitting here today, first of all, I'd have to talk to her, ask her about her earrings, because she always had the most interesting <laughs> earrings. I can't see your she earrings. Had on this so. morning. I have no idea. I can't Mine see. Mine are just boring rings. hoops. Just oh, hoops, hoops yeah. right. We'll, we'll tell Mine Susan. Yeah, you tell I, Susan we'll that tell I was Susan asking about what she was wearing today. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. she always had interesting We'll, we'll let her know. Willie wants okay. to know what you're I wearing. I want to know. I want to know. I was hoping she'd be here so I could But order you were on the radio, so no one could appreciate the earrings. No, but we would describe them, talk about them. I did a show one day. It was all jewelry. <laughs> on the radio? Uh, yeah, we did a whole show <laughs> on jewelry uh, on the radio. It, was, uh, it seems foolish, great. but it worked. We were <laughs> on the radio last week. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you've week. been covering your bases. Yeah. We didn't talk about earrings, though. Okay, <laughs> okay. So uh, you've got a lot going on. It sounds like it's going to be a wonderful month. Well, actually, starting in November, mm -hmm. it will be, yeah. uh, it'll be something going on. And, uh, and, and what are some other things... Uh, I know, you know, we probably don't have an awful lot of time left here that are going to be coming up through the year. Mm. Can, you, can you tell us about any other sure. things that will be happening well, after the new year? We close for the month of January. Right. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind plugging the Children's New Year's party no. if I could. Oh, I'm, right. I'm trying something new this year. Um, on New Year's Eve, the museum closes at 1, yeah. um, but I thought wouldn't it be fun to have a New Year's Eve party for kids? I love that idea. So it's going to run from 11 a.m. until closing at 1, and we will toast noon. And there'll be craft activities and uh, some fun things for the kids to do. There is oh, a small great. fee, and yeah. I think, I'm afraid I'm going to misquote myself here, but I think it's $3 for members per child and five dollars for non-members okay. just to cover our right, supply right, right, expenses right, right, right. but we'll have you know cake or cupcakes and uh, 
maybe some sparkling fruit juice right. and mm -hmm. hot chocolate. Oh, that's great. And because, uh, yeah. Music, oh yeah. And so many kids want to stay up. Well, I'm going to, I'll be right away. I can't away. stay and up till midnight. Yeah, yeah. And next thing you know, <laughs> Wait, there's what sound. What time you get a toast? Like, Noon. I thought you said it started at 1. It starts at 11. 11. It ends at 1. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so we'll toast the new year. Gotcha. And uh, and then do a little dancing and... Oh, that's cute. Play all Lang Syne? Maybe. Mm. Maybe. So this is your first time yeah. trying this one. Yeah. So I think it's going to be really fun. I When I started planning it, I... I was picking out the activities and stuff, and I got really excited about yeah, it yeah. because I think it'll just be really so great. So is this, is this a parent drop off the kid kind of? No, I'm, I'm sort of, I think it could be, okay. but um, parents are also welcome to stay. Okay. I think it'll be really cute, and I'm not going to charge parents, oh, the parents um, to and the stay kids just, to, together would be just to kind of, they can hang oh, yeah. out and sure. talk about their New Year plans right. or, or whatever. Right. Right. Um, oh, I, I think no, it'll I be think fun. I think it's a really, really fun yeah. idea. And then we are closed for the month of January. Right. We reopen February first. Um, I didn't bring my calendar. Yeah, I, didn't I, didn't I think it. I think year, it happens to be the first of February okay. this year. Um, and then we'll do our grand opening um, community day the Saturday that follows. I think February first may be a Monday. Okay. So the sixth, mm -hmm. I think, is uh, the Saturday, and we'll do a community day. Um, we open with the student art show. Um, so Which is always fun. kids in pre-K through 12 in the community um, get to display their art, and uh, we give them all little, you know, certificates mm -hmm. of of participation, and uh, they get to see their art on the walls of the right. the museum. Right. So we open with that. I'm not sure yet who the regional artists or the works no. on paper artists will be, but those change throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, and then getting into spring, we have a really cool exhibit coming up in the spring um, that we're collaborating with Bennington College and with some of the area um, high-tech industries and doing a, an exhibit called 3, 3D, 3D Digital, Digital Here and Here Now, now. Oh. Um, highlighting all of the really cool 3D digital design work and um, not just design, but um, manufacturing, manufacturing um, that's going on in Bennington. Right here in, that, right here in Bennington. Right yeah. here Imagine. in Bennington. I mean, there's some really awesome stuff going on, and I think it, it um, kind of gets under the radar a little bit. Uh, Bennington College is really spearheading uh, the exhibit. Uh, they've got some great stuff over there. We're going to have 3D printers in the gallery. And speaking of earrings, uh, there is some great 3D printed earrings oh, will be for sale. Talk um, about reimagined. I know. I know <laughs> from uh, Fish 3D uh, will be in our shop, and we'll we'll have some great programming around that too. Um, I'm talking a little bit with the the folks at Bennington College. They have a, a portable scanner that they can come and do a 3D scan of you, oh, and then print it out for you. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I want to do How that. How cool would oh, that be? Kids are going to like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want, I'm thinking, you know, what could we 3D print? We could take the, the car, you know? We could do this. I was going to say the, the tower. The tower. Would be awesome. That would be wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. I'd like to see yeah. the crayons, actually. Yeah. I don't know if we'll have they it in time. They won't be there but then. No, no. <laughs> so oh, a lot oh, of really great. great things. And then our big summer fall exhibit is Milton Avery's Vermont. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And then right after that, we roll back into festival. So yeah. oh, cool. Right, right, right. Um, what what got you involved in uh, this kind of work, Nina? Me? Yeah. Weird fate. Um, I actually started out uh, as an anthropology undergraduate and focusing on archaeology. And the only place I could find an appropriate internship in the town where I was going to college was at a children's museum. Oh, okay. And I ended up, after college, accepting a, a job there in their education department. and. Uh, ended up going to school, getting my master's degree in elementary ed, and kind of realizing that um, I wasn't ready to be in a classroom environment. So I, I went back to museum education and okay. have been doing that ever since. Okay, I wish I could ask Jean her the same question. However, we just get to get the. Uh, I don't have nearly we as need to <laughs> <elaborate> <laughs> so it's so fine. If you want to get out the most important dates here before we have to wrap. Okay, um, exhibition. Silent auction um, exhibition opens November 27th. Silent auction opens Nove November 23rd. The gala is December 5th. 
Don't delay buying tickets. I'm already up to probably 170 oh. people. Oh, wow. And we are limited. I mean, eventually yeah. it just becomes so uncomfortable. Oh, sure. So if you're thinking of coming, don't delay okay. purchasing your tickets. I can call. You can call. I can take a credit card over the phone. And okay. then Family Day is December 12th. Everything closes, closed bid auction, everything um, December okay. 29th. Okay. Well, I want to thank Jean. Thank and you. I want to thank uh, 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 Dina, sorry, for <laughs> being here today. And uh, folks, uh, this sounds like a wonderful opportunity. I hope you take part in it. And I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in today for uh, your friends and neighbors, whatever time you may be watching this show. So thank you. Thank you again. And everybody, have a great time. I take a long look around, I have to say. This time of year, it becomes clear. Those you hold dear, you draw them near this time of day.